Breadbox Media Programming is brought to you by... Introducing the redesigned CatholicSingles.com, featuring new ways that put the spotlight on the person and their faith, not just a profile picture. For the past 20 years, faithful Catholics have used CatholicSingles.com, and the reimagined CatholicSingles.com website is ready to help single Catholics take the next step in sharing meaningful relationships with other faithful Catholics. Remember, CatholicSingles.com, for faith, fellowship, and love. Well, hey, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Lisa Hendy and Friends. Do I have an exciting podcast for you today? This is a podcast that will satisfy and make more edified your inner Catholic geek. I know that if you listen to podcasts like this one, you're somebody who's interested in the world of technology and social media. So I know you're going to love this week's guest, Sarah Estabrooks. Sarah is a Catholic wife, mom, and an author with a real passion for the Eucharist. She's the technology Director and Community Manager at Catholic CatholicsOnline.net, which is a directory for Catholic social media influencers. This directory has helped people to discover Catholic inspiration online. And on Sarah's blog, ToJesusSincerely.com, she's on a mission to grow in knowledge, love, and service of God and to invite others along with her on this journey. Sarah hosts the Virtue Challenge, My Mass Takeaway, and Catholic Trivia on social media, and she helps all of us to grow in our faith. Welcome to the podcast, Sarah Estabrooks. Hi, Lisa. Thank you so much for having me. I'm super excited for this chance to chat with you. Oh, it's really exciting. And I can't remember how long I've been following you, but um, I'm just really happy to have you on the podcast to let you know or to let our listeners know all about the great stuff that you're doing. And listeners, let me tell you up front, this is going to be a very link heavy episode. So do not worry, because we're going to have all of the links in our show notes for everything that Sarah and I talk about today. But Sarah, before we dive into talking about um, the main topic for today. Tell us a little bit more about yourself and your family. Yeah, so um, I'm a Catholic wife and mom. Um, I have four kids and we currently homeschool them. And I just really love the opportunity to be at home with my kids and to do the work that I love from home. Um, It's kind of a a surprise uh, to me that I work on, on my blog and on the directory because I didn't really set out to do this, but it was something that God just placed in my life, and it's a good outlet for me, and it's just amazing to see the fruits of my work online, and at the same time, it helps me grow in my faith and challenges me to live my faith better. I kind of feel like I'm talking to myself a few years back, because you're exactly <laughs> where I was when I started Catholic Mom. How long have you been involved with the the, uh, the world of Catholic social media? Three years now coming up this fall, yeah. Wow, amazing. And to see all that you've accomplished in that time is just wonderful. One of the main things that we want to talk about um, today is a special course that you've designed to help people people use their social media. But before we do that, let's talk a little bit about Catholics Online. So where did the idea come from and how did you get your start? Yeah, so CatholicsOnline.net is um, it's a directory of just different Catholic influencers you can find online, artisans, authors, speakers, businesses. And um, the idea really came from Amy Brooks, um, who's the founder of Prayer Wine Chocolate. And when I first started blogging, I started reaching out to other bloggers that I followed or big bloggers in the Catholic world and saying, you know, hey, guys, here I am. I'm a brand new baby blogger. Um, Where's the community? You know, how can I connect with people and figure out, you know, what's going on, you know, how to best evangelize? And Amy responded to me saying, hey, I love it. This is what you want. And she had it on her heart to start a whole new community for that purpose, for building, you know, connections between influencers, getting us together and and really working for each other, you know, collaboration over competition. And she said, so would you like to start this with me? And I was like, well, I mean, I'm I'm a brand new blogger. I don't really know what I have to offer, but you know, God put this in my path and and he's got plans for this. So why not? (laughs) So really it's, it's Amy's brainchild. Um, But together I think we make a really good team. 
and um, Catholics Online started just as a Facebook community um, for Catholic social media influencers to network. But since then, it's grown into a website, and now we have our own social media pages where we can, you know, help promote these other influencers and get them more exposure. Uh, but most importantly, the mission of Catholics Online is to use the Internet to help other Catholics grow in their faith and live out their faith. So I think it's totally awesome that now we're able to offer new resources, you know, to Catholics just out there looking to live their faith better online and off and that we can offer, you know, some new resources to influencers through our directory and through our community as well. Um, having having spent some time studying the directory, I really love the different categories and the fact that you've involved all different kinds of influencers. I see that there's a membership fee to be a part of it, which I think is very wise um, because that helps you to sustain the infrastructure of your of your network. What um, do the influencers for for their um, for the very nominal membership fee? What what is the benefit to the influencers that join the directory? Yeah, so Amy and I work really hard daily to, you know, give our members the support that they need. And, um, and you know, even just in the terms of our work and our time that we put into supporting our members. Um, but some of the benefits that come with membership are access to our community of social media influencers. So that's members only, you know, you have to pay to sign up for that. Because um, there are lots of different, you know, communities out there, but this one is really for everyone. Amy said, you know, she didn't want to have it women only or, or authors only. She really wants everyone. So we have authors, speakers, artisans, you know, businesses, charities, and everyone kind of comes together um, just to share our experiences online. But also with the membership, um, members get a listing on our directory where you can feature, you know, your work, whether it's... Um, you know, the products that you make or the books you sell, your business, your, your authors, um, you can be on our maps. Members can be on our map. So, you know, if you want to have more speaking opportunities, people can find you on our map. And um, we also offer a members-only section of our site, which you can't see unless you remember, <laughs> where we offer some just instructional pieces and some more support for our members to help them grow in their ministries. We'll be looking for a new member this afternoon because I'm going to be joining today. It's so phenomenal what you're doing. And I just I want to um, underscore the importance of the fact that in the realm of Catholic um, influencing um, your your emphasis on the fact that we're co-workers in the vineyard is, is something that's really inspirational to me. This is not a world where we're competing against each other because ultimately our end goal is the same. And so when we all work effectively together, um, supported by networks like yours, we we have a higher chance of success at what we're trying to do out there in the world. So I absolutely love it. Let's let's talk a little bit about um, something very special that you offer through the website, and that is um, an electronic course, um, an e-course called How to Be a Good Catholic on Social Media. Um, this is not really just for influencers, but it's really for all of us who in I mean, the chances are that if you're listening to this podcast, you use social media. Um, and so really for all of us, an e-course on how to more impactfully and um, fruitfully use social media. Where did the idea for this come from? Yeah, so way before I had any kind of online or social media or blogging presence, um, my younger brother wanted, he was in high school and he wanted a social media account and my parents thought, you know, he's just not ready. Like, how do I say no? What do I do? And so working along with my parents, we decided, well, we don't necessarily want to say no, but how do we say yes and prepare him to go into social media, you know, and be strong in his faith and know how to make the good choices, the right choices. So I created the course for him. And I talked about things like privacy and prudence and how to set time limits how to properly engage people on social media, you know, with grace and, and virtue, um, the dangers of social media, uh, of addiction, and just all the dangerous things that are out there on the internet. But really, most importantly, the bottom line was how to live your faith online. Because sometimes we forget, you know, that our faith has to go into every aspect of what we do, including social media. And I kind of thought, you know, someday I'll make this a course, but it was like so one of those someday, but maybe never kind of dreams or ideas. But when we, um, when we made the website for CatholicsOnline.net, this was just the perfect opportunity for me to actually do that, 
to take this course and bring it to other people. So we changed it and we updated it and we generalized it so it's not just for teens, um, but so that it covers aspects that every Catholic needs to know to be able to live out their faith online in a healthy and holy way. And then I just started recording videos and, and made a workbook and just kind of went from there. So the way that this looks is just that um, you can sign up for the course and you've been kind enough and generous enough to create a promo code for our listeners. So listeners, if you use my code Lisa Hendy, you'll get 20% off your course registration, which is actually a very nominal fee anyway to do this. But um, when you start the course, um, uh, we Sarah has created a beautiful workbook. Um, I went ahead and downloaded the whole workbook to begin with, but you have um, with each of the course lessons, you have the pages that so you can download that like all at once or you can download it um, page by page. And then you basically work through the various videos. Um, and the time involvement is interesting because um, I found that it doesn't take a lot of time to take the course, but you can actually spend a good amount of time if you're really wanting to kind of pray your way through this. So it's a really great value. Um, the course videos are, am I right, about less than 10 minutes each on each of the yeah, chapters? Yeah, yeah, they should all be less- the the one about um, social media is not real life. That one might be just over 10 minutes. But for the most part, I tried to keep them in small chunks, you know, five <coughs> to 10 minutes so that it really wasn't um, a burden for anyone to take this course. But at the same time, I give you a lot of like thinking and reflection points. So if you want to go deeper and really spend a lot of time with it, like you said, you definitely can. There's so much packed in there. And. I used it for myself. Now, I'm a 56-year-old woman, but I love the idea of using this with a teenager. So when my kids were teens back in the early days of Facebook, um, one of the things that we did with them was to say, before you can have social media, you need to bring home your first good high school report card. And um, we kind of had a contract with them because we told them, you know, all of this stuff is a privilege and it's based on your being able to kind of handle it with maturity and, you know, to show us that you can basically manage your responsibilities but I would have definitely used a course like this I always talk I do a lot of talks with parents and schools about um, kind of balancing technology with teens and one of the things that I often say to them is you know you wouldn't put your kid in a car and let them drive without any kind of formal preparation right um you know they're going to have their driver's ad and you're going to go through all the proper stages and yeah with social media somehow we're handing kids as young as you know first and second grade cell phones with exposure to all this stuff and and expecting them to handle a responsibility that really could have impactful life-changing impacts on their on their their life and their soul so it's so great that a parent could work through this with a teen um and and, you know, actually kind of say, well, if you would like to have the privilege of using Instagram, for example, um, you know, we're going to complete this course together. Um, I love that. What are, what are you hearing from people that have used the course? Oh, sorry. Could you say that again? That oh, just wondering, <laughs> wondering what you're hearing from families who have used the e-course or individuals that have used it. Yeah, so um, one of the biggest things that I love hearing is that when parents are confident that this course will actually prepare their kids, it makes them feel more confident in allowing their kids to have social media. Because that was one of the biggest things that I was noticing is that parents are just so scared to let their kids have a phone, to let their kids get on social media. And they just want to say no. But um, the parents who, you know, have done this course with their kids, um, it, it kind of eliminates that fear. And that was my hope for it. Um, you know, that they could feel that their kids were well equipped um, to get on social media and, and kind of take that fear away and just know what the purpose of social media really is. So and that I always love to hear that. I like it, Sarah, because it's it's funny. uh and my monthly, I sort of do my annual, like my New Year's resolutions, but then I have monthly benchmark goals for myself. And uh, often those relate to my use of <laughs> screen time. I'm one of those people who yeah. uses the screen time, you know, monitoring on my iPhone regularly. And um, this yeah. has really helped me to be more prudent about my use of social media. So congratulations on that. Again, friends, Thank if you, you want to download that course, we'll have a link in our show notes, but you can also go over to Catholics on 
online.net and look in the shopping area. And then definitely you use our promo code Lisa Hendy for 20% off on your course registration for that. Um, so let's talk for a minute um, about your personal blog, Sarah, because I'm very interested in the work that you're doing over there, too. Um, how did you get started with blogging yourself? Yeah, thank you. So like I said, um, I didn't want to be a blogger and I didn't think that I would, you know, ever do this, ever go this way, ever share my writing online. Um, but my the heart of my blog and the reason it started is because um, when I go to adoration or when I pray and meditation and everything, I love to use um, writing as a form of prayer. So kind of like writing letters to Jesus, you know, just filling the depths of my heart onto pen and paper. You know, it helps me think. It helps me focus. It helps me not be distracted during adoration. And sometimes I would share these writings with people and they would tell me, you got to share this. You know, you got to put this online. Other people want to read it. And I resisted for a while. But, you know, eventually just things kind of lined up and I knew God was leading me in this direction, and he wanted me to share this. So I tentatively started sharing things, and it just had such a good reception. People said, you know, this helped me so much. You know, this made me want to go back to confession, this and that. And it just hit my heart, you know, like, I didn't want this, but God wants this for me, and and he can do something with it. So I just dove right in. Um, you know, I started my blog to Jesus Sincerely, so that's where the name comes from, kind of like writing letters to Jesus and growing closer to Jesus. To Jesussincerely.com is where you'll find the blog. And you have a lot of features over there, but I wanted to ask you about a couple of them um, intentionally. Sure. So the first one is um, something that you call My Mass Takeaway. What's that all about? Yeah, so uh, My Mass Takeaway, usually we put a hashtag in front of it. So hashtag My Mass Takeaway. Um, that's a community building hashtag generally um, that happens on Instagram. And so what we do um, is it's focused on on Sundays, you know, when we go to Mass, um, just trying to find that one nugget of what God is speaking into your heart and what God wants you to take home from Mass. And um, then sharing that with others online and really encouraging others to not just kind of like sit through Mass, like going through the motions or, you know, it's so familiar to us, but to really open our hearts and let God speak to us. And then that one thing, just kind of hold it in our hearts you know, all week long and carry that with us. And so sometimes the, the, the my match takeaway that people share is um, my kids are crazy and I sent all maps out in the foyer of maps. <laughs> and then it ranges to other things, you know, like really deep thoughts and reflections. But it's nice to know that other people maybe are in the same spot with us, you know, are missing the readings and missing the homily. And we can look to my mass takeaway to share that cross and to also be fed when we weren't able to hear it at the time. So really as a community building hashtag, it's for anyone. It's not just for bloggers, but anyone who uses the hashtag my mass takeaway, um, you know, we can all read each other's thoughts and, and just kind of, um, you know, grow in the faith together there. I love that. And I love anything that underscores for us the universal nature of the church. And I also love the idea of using this as your kids get a little bit older with maybe even even if you don't post it, you know, online, ask them, you know, what's your mass takeaway this week and, and see what they come up with. I was always really surprised when my kids were little that on the weeks when I thought that they barely listened at all, they always picked something up. So. Oh, my goodness. Kids say the most profound things when it comes to, like, what they're thinking about the faith. It always blows me away. Yeah, and I think it's fair, too, to realize when you're in certain seasons of life where your mass takeaway is, my goodness, we made it through all of us alive and, you know, with only one diaper blowout or whatever, um, that you're not in it alone. That's that's super awesome. Um, really yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. And I also find that um, as I, you know, as I kind of try to meditate on um, the word of God, that hearing what other people heard in their homilies is often helpful to me, um, you know, yeah. so kind of hearing from other people. Yeah, kind of seeing it from a different perspective, from a different light, because we all have that individual and unique voice, you know, to add to the, the whole church, the body of Christ. So, you know, saying, wow, I really didn't think of that, but that is that is important for us to know. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. So let's talk about the second aspect that I wanted to ask about on the blog, which is the virtue challenge. Tell us a little bit more about this feature of your blog. 
Yeah, so the virtue challenge, um, so if you look at, at it on my blog, um, I, I pick out one virtue for every month, and I write up these challenges. Okay, so maybe this month we're going to focus on the virtue of temperance. Oh, I think that's what we're doing right now. And, and we'll focus on the virtue of temperance, and we're just going to we're gonna look at what that means in our lives, we're going to learn about it, and we're really going to try to practice it. So on my blog, I have blog posts just kind of introducing you to these virtues a little more in depth and encouraging people to their downloads, you know, download it, put it on your nightstand and really work on growing in that virtue so it can lead us closer to God and our relationship with God. But then also if you go on my social media channels on Facebook and Instagram, I try, it doesn't happen every day, but I try to put daily thoughts on, you know, what I'm thinking and what I'm learning this month as we're all trying to grow in temperance together. So whether it's, you know, I, I watch you know, Netflix too late last night and I'm super tired today. I need more temperance or um, I said no to those cookies. You know, you guys can do this. So it's another thing where I, I want to grow myself. So I do it for myself, but I also want to encourage others to grow in virtue with me so that we're all kind of, you know, just, just trying to serve God together. I think one great aspect of being a Catholic online is realizing that you don't have to be perfect um, in your in your yeah. practice of the faith to begin using these tools to share. And that so often, you yeah. know, when we're transparent yeah. about our own struggles, it actually brings people um, to be more honest about their own. And that's how we all kind of collectively grow in faith. So that's Absolutely. amazing. It's so funny that you mentioned that because I had someone ask me once, oh, virtue challenge, you know, that's so cool. Um, how many virtues have you mastered yet by doing this? And I said, um, none. Yet. Zero. <laughs> I've grown in all of them, you know, sometimes in little ways, sometimes in big ways. But, you know, we're all a work in progress. It's not about being perfect, but that doesn't mean we can't try and we can't do better and we can't grow every day. Yeah, well, I'm so excited to, to always discover resources like yours that that can help me. And, and you know, just to realize that yeah. we're all walking this journey together. It's such a great, yeah. great gift, Sarah. So, um, again, friends, there's so many resources here. The first one is Catholics Online, which you can find at catholicsonline.net. Um, again, don't worry, because we'll have all these links in our show notes. Um, the second one that I really want to point you to, whether you're a parent or just someone who uses social media for yourself is how to be a good Catholic on social media and remember to use that promo code Lisa Hendy just so you can um, get a little discount on that or don't and pay the full price which is well worth it um, and then you know definitely check out Sarah's blog at to Jesus sincerely.com and um, when you're there you'll want to connect with her Facebook and Instagram accounts where you can follow all the all the um, daily and, and weekly and monthly challenges and features of the great work that she's doing and connect there. And if you're somebody who is active in um, creating something for God, um, and that's most of us, right? Um, definitely consider joining the community um, at Catholics Online. Um, Sarah, are there any kind of closing thoughts or anything that we haven't discussed that you'd like to share with our listeners? I just want to thank you so much for this opportunity to chat with you. I truly love, you know, it was a surprise to me to be working, you know, in evangelization online, but I truly just love this work. And I love the opportunity to meet new people, meet new Catholics around the world. You know, you're all the way across the country for me from me to make new Catholic friends and to really just kind of grow in that awareness of the universality and the diversity of the body of Christ. It's just, it's so, so incredible. So, you know, we've been talking a lot about, you know, living the faith online. And if you're not plugged into faithful, you know, pages on Facebook or Instagram, you've got to do it because it is just one of the most amazing things to know. We're not alone in, in trying to live this life and trying to grow in holiness. Yeah, and you know, one thing that I sort of prayed about after I took your course, Sarah, and I've been doing it a little bit more um, since uh, <laughs> since kind of really spending some time with this e-course is, you know, when I'm in these places and I notice that certain environments online sort of don't really lead me to be prayerful or even positive, but rather are leading me to frustration or sin, I'm more liberally using the unfollow or hide buttons on my social media. Yeah. Um, just because, not because I'm trying to make a judgment on those people, but more so because I, you know, I, I don't want to kind of 
be led down the path of sin just by, right. <laughs> by right. what I'm looking yeah. at online. And, and it doesn't always have to be something, you know, something, a bad rated movie or something that can lead you no. into sin. It can be a relationship that you have on social media. So being mindful about all this, I think is so significant. So keep up the awesome work. Any, any plans for future projects that are ruminating or, um, I'm, well, I'm super excited that, um, you know, we were talking about the virtue challenge. I have a scripture study on the topic of virtue coming out with our Sunday visitor in January of 2020. So I'm very, very excited for that to come. And then, you know, we'll just see where God takes us from there. Amazing. Well, can you come back on the podcast when the book is out? That would be awesome. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> our Sunday visitor always doing awesome projects. So congrats to them. Sarah, they thank you I'm so and thankful. So thanks so much for your time and for all the good work that you're doing. Really, really grateful to you. Thank you, Lisa. It was amazing just getting this chance to, to chat with you. I loved it. <laughs> well, friends, um, that's it for this week's podcast. And we do want to encourage you if um, if the podcast is helpful you, for you, especially this one that has so many great resources, please share it with a friend, share it on social media. Definitely always beneficial to me if you can go over to iTunes or whatever podcast directory you listen to the show through and leave a star rating or a review that helps me to improve. And if you have a guest that you'd like to recommend for the show, you can reach me anytime by email Lisa Handy at gmail.com or on social media where I love um, hearing from you. And if you're not a troll, I promise not to block you. <laughs> you can find me there at Lisa Hendy. Um, until next week, I hope you have an awesome week and I'll see you soon. God bless. Hello, this is international Catholic singer Anna Nuzzo, inviting you to join me and Father Dan Cambra of the Marian Fathers on a select international tour's Divine Mercy pilgrimage to Poland and the Czech Republic. It takes place in September of 2019, and we would love for you to join us. For more information, go to my website, AnnaNuzzo.com. Thank you, and God bless. Breadbox Media Programming is brought to you by Jack Kane Ford. Find your next Ford Tough vehicle at KaneFord.com.